This was a discovery born of serendipity where uh, my graduate student and his brother uh, together had an idea one evening and uh, we realized that graphene suits a very important application in sound reproduction. We're starting it with a solution of graphene. So these are these atomic layers of carbon atoms. Uh, we dry out this solution to form a paper. And the paper is very stiff yeah. and light on account of how the carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen are arranged inside the material. This gives us uh, a very light and stiff paper, lighter and stiffer than any of the polymers that are typically used for acoustic drivers. This is the very same speaker technology that we've relied on for over a century. And essentially there is a diaphragm that is pushed backwards and forwards to produce the sound waves. And what's important for the quality of the reproduction and the energy efficiency of the reproduction of the sound is the uh, lightness and stiffness of this material. There are loudspeakers all around us. Um, for people who really want to have a, a nice uh, sound uh, listening experience, we have over-ear headphones. Uh, the visual experience of an electronic device is very um, appealing, but the sound reproduction uh, leaves much to be desired.